Hey, it's La Kailini Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with who? Yes, you. Delivering kingdom business, what to do, what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. We have officially reached the last final three days of being victorious with Christ Jesus. What a month. What a month of revelation. What a, a month of praying the Holy Spirit into our life instead of leaning, us, leaning on to the flesh. What a month of directing our, our life towards the glory and will of God. What a month of putting all of our weight on God's power and not our own. What a month of continually, perpetually seeking his face to do in us what we can never do alone. Amen. This is what we do here at La Kailini Ministries. La Kailini Ministries, we serve Father and no one else, Son and no one else, Holy Spirit and no one else. Amen. Being victorious was created when me and my husband was going through a dark phase in life where we lost his father. And God said, and well, we lost his father. And then I was attacked for the first time spiritually in voodoo so that had put me in a deep depression and god was like run i was like oh i don't think i'm in shape for that but god god know what he was talking about and now three years later we're reaping the benefits and the protection that comes with being victorious with christ jesus because we just currently went through a, a um <clears throat> spiritual warfare that caused us to go closer to god and realize that god is the one and only true god of them all we don't we don't celebrate statues we don't call on no one but the name of father son and the holy spirit people can say whatever they want to say but when the father son and holy spirit come for me they come and protect me in any way shape or form even if they come in dreams even if they come in real life even if i'm living with them god has always seemed to come through and come through in a way that i can never understand but like he tell us lean not, not to our own understanding but lean on every word of this bible and that is what we're doing with romans 8 so we can be great thank you for sticking with us for 30 i mean not even 31 days yet three more days till 31 but thank you for sticking with us thank you for praying with us thank you for t letting letting god know that which side you stand on and that's the side of the holy spirit amen the holy spirit will continue to do what the work in you that you can never do alone let father son and holy spirit take a heed of your life and i promise you you will never regret that decision may the lord keep you may the lord bless you may the lord protect you may the lord give you everything that you need and in return i pray that you honor him i pray that you exalt him i pray that you do the things for him that you're supposed to do in order for you to maintain your healthy relationship with your master creator now we're gonna have these final days we're gonna be releasing i think every hour release we're releasing a video so stay tuned for that and i pray that i get the strength to do that amen so now you keep being great with Romans 8 La Kailini Ministries Private and Personal Chef Services And we're praying with you Delivering kingdom business What to the what 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 Period In Christ Jesus name Romans 8 So we can be great Here at La Kailini Ministries We love you Like Christ loves God's God the what, love what, what, In Christ church. Jesus Romans 8 31 Through 39 So what should we say about this If God is for us No one can stand against us And God is with us he even let his own son suffer for us. God gave his son for all of us. So now with Christ, with Jesus, God will surely give us all things. Who can accuse the people God has chosen? No one. God is the one who makes them right. Who can say that God's people are guilty? No one. Christ. Christ Jesus died for us, but that is not all. He all he was also raised from death, and now he is at the right side, speaking to him for us. Can anything separate us from Christ's love? Can trouble or problems or persecution separate us from his love? If we have no food or clothes or face even danger or even death, will that separate us from his love? As the scriptures say, for you are in danger of death all the time. People think we are worth no more than sheep to be killed. But in all of these troubles, we have complete victory through God, who has shown his love for us. Yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not death, life, angels, or ruling spirit. I am sure that nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us or nothing below us, nothing in the whole created world will be ever will be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus our Lord.
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debts. It is not a temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. God's love in Christ Jesus. So what should we say about this? If Christ is for us, no one can stand against us. No one can stand against those who are <coughs> who belong to Christ. And for that, Father God, we thank you. We honor you and we glorify you for all the things that you're going to continue to do for us, Father God. And God is with us. You're with us every step of the way. You're with us with, with grace. You're with us with mercy. You're with us with each and every single thing that we face for such a time as this. Father God, thank you that no matter what, we stand here knowing that if God is for us, no one can stand against us. And God is with us. He even let his own son suffer for us. God gave his son for all of 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 us. Not one of us, not some of us, but all of us. And Father God, we're grateful for that in such a time as this, Father God, where the world is pulling us from left to right. But Father God, we stand firm on what Christ Jesus has done for us. He even let his own son suffer. God will surely give us all things. Who can accuse the people God has chosen? No one. No one can accuse the people God has chosen because God has chosen us for such a time as this, for us to be here knowing that we need grace and mercy knowing that we need his strength knowing that we need everything that we need for such a time as this to be a part of his kingdom yes father god just as christ came down and preached nothing about your kingdom father god we want your kingdom to reign for such a time as this in the name of jesus father god god is the one who makes them right uh, who can say that god's people are guilty no one christ jesus died for us who can say that christ who can say that God's people are guilty? No one. Christ Jesus died for us. Just like we read in the first the first verse of this Romans 8 journey. That there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Close the doors here. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. No one. Because Christ died for us. Christ, Christ paid a price for us. Christ will continue to be the Christ that will be above the church and going to continue to prepare the church for the day of glory. Father God, thank you for all that you've done and all that you're going to continue to do for us because no one, who can say that God's people are guilty? No one. Christ Jesus died for us, but that is not all. He was also raised from death, and now he is at God's right side speaking for him to us. He's speaking for us in ways that we cannot understand, in ways that only he can harbor and in ways that only he can translate for such a time as this, as we continue to seek your face at this hour of life father god we thank you so much for all that you've done and all that you're going to continue to do for us father god we give you praise we give you glory and we give you honor of all the things that you've done for us and all the things that you're going to continue to do for us father god nothing can separate us nothing can separate us nothing can separate us can trouble or problems or persecution separate us from his love if we have no food or clothes or face danger or even death will that separate us no as the scriptures say in psalm 44 22 for you are in danger of of death all the time people think we are worth no more than sheep to be killed so father god as your sheep we stand here knowing that this world will try to kill us but father god you have given us the strength to stand in a world that wants to see us embrace and father god we are grateful for it father god but in these troubles we have complete victory through God. We have complete victory through God, not knowing that Christ paid a price for us to live our best spiritual reality in Him. For such a time as this, Father God, we're grateful for it. We're honored for it. We're going to continue to sit here at your feet, knowing that you're going to come through each and every single time. But in all these things, we have complete victory through God, who has shown His love for us. Yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not death, life, Angels are ruling spirits. I am sure that nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us or below us, nothing in the whole created world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus. Father God, you showed us a mighty love through your son. Your son died just so that we can have victory. Sinners have victory. Only you can 
give that ultimate reward and father god we're grateful for it knowing that you're going to come through for us in ways that we do not understand father god no powers no nothing in the future nothing now nothing above us or below us nothing in the whole created world would ever be able to separate us from god's love and that's what we stand on and that's the promise that you have given us since the beginning of time and father god we're grateful for this promise that you have given us father god we submerge ourselves in this promise knowing that you're going to come through after come through father god even if the enemy tries to steal our time away from you we know that we're going to stand firm knowing that you're going to come here for be here for us father god we give you glory honor and praise only you deserve i am sure nothing now nothing in the future no powers nothing above us nothing below us nothing in the whole created world will be ever able to separate from the love god has shown his through christ our lord thank you for showing us a love like never before thank you for showing us a love that only you could show for such a time as this thank you for a love that we know nothing about but you know everything about and you continue to give us this victory through christ jesus knowing christ jesus had paid a price for us to live our best spiritual reality for such a time as this thank you father god that no matter what there is no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus and sin no longer controls the agenda because christ paid a price for us to live our best spiritual reality in you for such a time as this thank you father god that we give you glory thank you father god that we give you honor thank you father god that through it all that there is no power that could separate us from your love yes Paul writes again, yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not death, life, angels, or ruling spirits. I am sure that nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us or nothing below us in the whole wild world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus our Lord. You showed us a mighty love and for that we're honored, Father God. We're grateful, Father God, because we stand here with complete victory, knowing that, yes, the world wants to kill us, but Father God, we stand in you, knowing that you're going to be the one to um, rise up within us so, so we can have a new power within us, so we don't lean on the powers of this world, but we lean on the power that is within us, that continues to grow within us that continues to show us which way to go for such a time as this and father god we're honored knowing that we lay everything at your feet knowing that we lay all our, our all our finances all our businesses all our ministries here at your feet so you can have your way with it for such a time as this thank you father god that you have given us the strength and given us the strength to remember that yes i am sure that nothing can separate us from god's love not death life's ruling angels or ruling spirits i am sure that nothing now nothing in the future no powers no, nothing above us or below us nothing in the whole created world would ever be able to separate us from the love god has showed us in christ jesus our lord thank you father god for it all thank you that you continue to give us the strength to be to, to remember that through christ jesus we have complete victory and through christ jesus that there's no powers no ruling spirits no angels no nothing that can separate us from the love that you have showed us through christ jesus christ jesus paid a mighty price for us and christ jesus will continue to be the resurrected king the one that had showed up for god's kingdom and he continues to reign in god's kingdom as god's son on the right side of him father god we grateful for it all we're grateful for and honored that we get to sit here at your feet knowing that one day you will answer our prayers one day you will give us you will give us what we need for such a time as this and we're going to always remember that we have complete victory in christ jesus name we pray amen victorious with christ jesus it is in christ jesus that we are victorious romans 8 so we can be he 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 great like i lily ministry it's like i lily ministry being victorious. Like I lead ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with who? Yes, you. Delivering kingdom business, what to the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for praying with us. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you that you now you know that life in the spirit, we will have glory. So, Let's go into this next chapter. We will have glory at the end. In the future. Okay? We will have glory in the future through Christ Jesus. Okay? 
This is what we do here at Lakalili Ministries. We love on the Lord and the Lord love on us. And we continue to pray the Lord into our lives so we can walk and talk. Walk it like we talk it. Walk it like we talk it. Walk it like we talk it. Hey, Lakalili Ministries, private and personal chef services. And we praying with you. Delivering kingdom business. What to the what, what, what. Period. In Christ Jesus' name. Here at Lakalili Ministries, we love you like Christ loves the church. Blessings.